Okay, going to take a look at an app called Mystery Math Town by Artgig Apps. And uh, when you open up the app, this is the screen you get, sound on or off down here. Uh, you can click the help button and it will tell you how to play, how to go through the app. We're going to show you how to do that on the video now. Go back out. You can look at the skills and this is the these are the areas that you can work on. So you've got addition, subtraction and multiplication. You can work on numbers 0 through 10, uh, include numbers 11 through 20 or even all the way up to 50. And you can do that for any of these, even multiplication 1 times through 10 or 1 times 1 times 2 times 5 or times 10. Uh, we're going to leave it on the basic level because my math skills are probably about this level. So uh, we'll leave it on that. Mix numbers down the bottom here, include dice and tally marks, and I'm going to show you how that works as we get into the app, but it's a really clever way of introducing uh, different numbers for the kids to work on. So we're going to go back, and I'm going to show you how to add a player, and show you what happens when you first start this app. So new player, this is a fun part, you can enter your name, so we'll enter um, Bob up there, and you can change the hairstyle. You can change the glasses, the eyes, and change the mouth until you get what you like. You click done and then Bob has been created. So we're going to play as Bob. When you click play, this is the fun part. Here's where you can change all your things. We've explained that. Help me find my little fireflies. Somebody trapped them in jars and hid them all over town. And of course we'll help. So when you first get this app, you'll see that everything is locked and the idea is to go through these house by house finding the firefly jars, which are these, at the locations. You also have a gallery which you can collect uh, pictures throughout the app all the way to the very large one at the end. I'll show you how that works. But if we click on this as a guest, you'll see, or as Bob I should say, you'll see what happens. So you start by collecting numbers like this and you can open this panel up on the bottom and then you click on the door and then you get a question so something times something equals nine and you've got these numbers to choose from and you enter the answer now remember we're looking for two jars okay and you can go up the ladder and you can go through the door so we collect the numbers and you can have I think it's um, uh, eight or nine numbers on the bottom I'm not sure exactly and then you decide which way you want to go. So something plus something equals five. We'll go three plus two. And we found one jar. You collect that. Things are interactive within the scenes. Hey, whoa, watch the hair. I have so many fans. Even a computer couldn't count them all, baby. <laughs> which are really cute. You can move your little ghost character around if you like, uh, if you like to do it that way. And you can use numbers like this, you don't have to put them in your number bank, but they'll stay on that page. So you kind of want to take them with you in case you need them down the line. Why, back in my day, we didn't have this newfangled myth. Try and go through here. And you can see how you get to go around the house. Now we've already been there and we've already been here because it's not asking us for any mathematical problems. So something minus something equals six. So 10 minus four, I believe is six. I had to think about that one. And there's our final jar. So we click on that and we have completed that house. And now you can see you're on to the next one and you completely go through the app to do that. We've collected two out of 50 jars, uh, so it gets harder and harder. As you go through the levels, some of the houses have uh, connecting uh, like sheds or play pens or different houses that you can go out of one door and into another door and so on. If we go back out and change players and we go and have a look at um, Alex, for example, you'll see how far he's got. And he's completed all the levels, he's got the 50 out of the 50. And also if you go into the gallery, you'll see that he's collected some of the pictures. Now, how do you 
uh, how do you collect these pictures? Well, I'm going to I'm going to show you how to do that. The ones that have the coins on, after you start to complete these levels, you'll see houses with the star on. When you click on those, you have to go and collect the coins. Now, depending on which house, it'll depend on how many coins you have to collect. You can go through the gate. So instead of looking for, uh, instead of looking for, uh, we don't have enough numbers for that. Instead of looking for the firefly jars, uh, we're looking for coins and there are a star and there's one. Okay, we've got 20 to collect and you can see that. Now when you collect all 20, you can go through windows. Uh, we don't have the right numbers for that, so we would go back down and we go through the door. Two times nine. And then we're into the house. When you collect all of these stars, you get um, a painting. Now, if you can't do a math problem, for example, you don't know the answer to this, you have the option of clicking one of these and skipping that problem. And you can click three, and you've got three lives or three chances to do that to get you through those doors if you have issues with uh, the mathematical equation and so on. So once you collect those coins, you end up getting a picture and putting it in the gallery. Now, the final thing I want to show you on here are uh, the dice and the tally marks and we'll click done and I'll show you how this works we'll click um, simple house to do this now you can see you've got tally marks and so nine plus four tally marks open this up to show you that go through the door nine minus four equals five so you've got tally marks dice or die and numbers so it's a different way of doing it um, which gets the kids really thinking about uh, different uh, different ways to do this. If you can't do a problem, you may have to go through the other way until you get the right numbers to be able to come back and do that. So it's really uh, it really is an incredible app. A lot of fun. A lot of things in the app are uh, interactive, and um, my kids uh, they they play with it for probably about two to three hours to go through it. It's called Mystery Math Town and it's by Art Gig Apps and I highly recommend it. It's a great introduction to math and um, as you can see just on here, just want to show you all the way up from 0 to 50 for addition, 0 to 50 for subtraction and then multiplication 1 times through 10 times uh, and then you have the dice and the tally marks. So please check it out. Uh, it's really, really good. Mystery Math Town by Art Gig Apps.